We we're talking about leadership, especially going into the, well, we're already in the 21st century, but we're in this phase, this is the open source era. So in your privileged job to be with a lot of leaders throughout time and different locations, right? What's your take on what has changed when it comes to leadership? I think the issue that's changed is, is twofold. Firstly, the stakeholders from which you have pushing against you. Uh, it used to be you were only concerned with your shareholders. Right. But now you have the, your shareholders, you have your suppliers, okay. you have your employees. Look at Google having to respond to their employees uh, last week uh, demanding changes on the arbitration in sexual harassment. So you've now got employees, shareholders, suppliers, customers. Yeah. Customers saying they're not going to buy something or they are going to buy something. So that's on the one side, the pressures, but the range of issues. Yeah has also dramatically escalated. In the past, you know, you ran your company and you were a leader just on very narrow grounds, profits. Right. Now it's a question of what policies are we following? Okay. And if you're talking about leadership at the greatest and highest levels, yes. you're talking about moral questions. Right. You're talking about moral questions. And yes, let's say it straight out. Okay. You're talking about same-sex issues. You're talking about gender equality. Yeah. You're talking about where you stand between left and right and okay. racism. You're talking, these are major issues that leaders have no question, yes. no doubt now, but to get involved in. Okay. So the scope now is a lot broader. Than it's broader and there are more constituents fighting the issue for, with you. Okay. So in that regard, what kind of leadership do we need? We need people who are, I think the days of the, I think the days of the technocrat leader, yeah. there is a role for that person, usually as a company's coming out of some troubles yeah. and you need, or at least you need somebody to clean it up. Yeah. But it, to a company to grow and to thrive, you need a visionary. Hmm. Okay. There is, in the C-suite these days, there are plenty of other Cs, yeah. the C -E CFO, yes deals with the finance, COO deals with the running of the everyday operations, CIT deals with the information technology, CMR deals with your marketing. So there's plenty of other people dealing with the different things, but you have to be the captain of the ship. Hmm. So and some captains are quiet and thoughtful. Right. Satya Nadella at right. Microsoft is a exactly. quiet exactly. and thoughtful man. Right. Some are loud, bombastic, and you know, Richard Branson was sure. a good example of a loud CEO. Right. But in either case, everybody involved says, that's the leader, that's who I'm following. 